So we want to take a look and figure out how to get the scheduling system from Acuity using the Acuity scheduling plugin to work in WordPress. The plugin's already installed, and I'm looking at the details, and I believe this is the documentation that we want. It's probably one or the other of these short codes. Short codes is basically a way of embedding uh, a system into any area of a WordPress website. Could go into a post, a page. Uh, in this case, we're running Divi. Uh, a theme, so it could go into a module, a code module, or something like that too. And we have uh, some options down here. So I believe this is what we're going to need, except for we're going to change uh, this word here uh, at some point. So uh, I'm going to copy this code, the short code. We're going to need this. We might need the short version too, I'm not positive. And I'm going to create a, or take a look at the pages. We may have one created, a, and we'll see where this is going. Uh, let's just create a test page for, I won't publish this. I'll save it to draft to test this out. Waiting. My browser's going a little bit slow because I'm rendering something on a different uh, system here. Okay, here we go. Apologize for the delay. Slowing down again. And I'm not gonna put it in the Divi Builder right away. I'm just gonna uh, plug this in. Actually, there were two versions of this. One included this code one did not. Also, I can tell right off the bat after uh, pasting this that these quotes are not the correct quotes. You'll notice that the look of them changed. Uh, so these need to be rewritten. So that uh, those details for the Acuity scheduling plugin may have a slight error in their description, which definitely could cause some problems. I'm going to save the draft and preview this page. Go, open a new tab. Not used to my system running so slow, but have a lot going on today with it. All right, here we go, comes up. Okay, so I've uh, got a couple different embeds. Now, I had put in uh, this link here, as I mentioned, uh, the my site. That's not a real life thing, so I'm going to remove that, just see, uh, sometimes you can't use the same code twice. I'm gonna resave this and refresh. Um, but we may need the correct version of that URL to actually make this work. Refresh the preview. And so that shorter version, the shortcode does absolutely nothing. So I'm gonna go back and put the long one in. And uh, I'm gonna pause real quick to get the right link. Okay, so we've got the link and you'll notice uh, this doesn't necessarily look like Acuity scheduling. So uh, our plugin may or may not be out of date, but I'm wondering, uh, there might be a couple different ways to do this. They might have an old version, they may have replaced the domains or something. So I'm gonna put both of these in uh, again and attempt to test them both at the same time. Uh, I still don't know if that's possible or not, but we're gonna try it and then open this it's saved in the preview page again and see what we get okay looking more like a thing now and both of these uh, methods work so um, in case uh, just to help this make sense a little bit we have two short codes right here and I'm actually going to put uh, a little spacer between them and save this again so this is a little bit more clear. Uh, actually, let's put in a title to um, make this extra explicit. Oops. Hit the wrong button. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, let's put in a quick title. 
H2 acuity scheduling old domain for way. So acuities change the way they do things and it looks like both methods uh, work. Uh, they've made this backward compatible to their old way of working with this plugin. Acuity scheduling and I just want to make sure that this is visible uh, in the before and after of our preview page so that everybody gets the aha moment of, oh, that's how it works. So, so there we see the old way and everything that follows. And then below that, uh, we see the new way and everything that follows there. Now you'll notice this one's got a slightly different button. It's got powered by Acuity. It's a little cleaner here. Uh, it's got something, I think it's got something else. I'm not sure if that's the beginning or the end of the old one. Um, this one's got a nice little tab thing across the top. And so does this one. Uh, so let's, uh, so we've got it to work at this point. So that's good. And I want to go back to our plugin settings now. Because uh, in those details, there were a couple of the things that we may or may not want to uh, bother with. So I'm going to come in here, go to. So there were some options site, your scheduling site, that's required. So we've figured that part out. So um, the options, we've got this done. We can also set default widths 100%. Uh, we can set some defaults on height. We could even add a border. Uh, the default border is zero, but we could add a border if we wanted to. Um, so if we wanted a border, uh, I'm just coming back into here, it looks like we would add a border equals, and I'm not sure if it's two or two PX for pixels. Um, we'll update that. Refresh our preview page. And did it go? Well, I still don't see a I don't see a border showing up, so maybe it's not two px but two. Or it may just this may be something that doesn't even work. Uh, sometimes with plugins things change, and the plugin information doesn't always get updated. Um, this is a new plugin to me, so I don't know what the case is here. I'm just open to witnessing whatever does or doesn't work. Yeah, I, st uh, I still don't see a border showing up there, so, uh, and I don't think it's necessarily needed. So there we go. Um, so we've got this figured out now. We don't need both of those. Personally, I like the top one better. Uh, I'm going to clean this up just a little bit and share this with my client so that they can figure out where they want to put this. And there you have it. There's the Acuity scheduling plugin and kind of how to use it. Thanks to uh, Rhonda from Daisy Yoga Studio, uh, who's given this a try and, and needed just a little bit of help to get past a stumbling block. <laughs>